is here, and we are on the road with EMO's Creative Studio, and I'm going to take you into my local big box crafting and fabric store just to show you a little bit about fabrics, what to get and what not to get. Okay, let's go. So here we are in the fabric portion of the store. It's sectioned off into different types of fabrics. Like what you're looking at now, the sign says calico prints and solids, and it's coordinated in colors, as you can see all the way across. Now here is more, and you can see it's a really nice type of a fabric. It's not too thin, not too thick. Now this is called yardage or fabric that is taken off the bolt and measured by the yard. Most quilts will take two or three yards of this if you want to cut it on your own. And then there's something called pre-cuts. Ooh, I like this one. I'll take you over to the pre-cuts and show you what they look like. Unfortunately, when I was at the store, they didn't have any pre-cuts available. So the picture is showing my collection of pre-cuts, a layer cake, which is 10 inches square, a charm pack, which is five inches square, a back quarter, which is 18 by 22 inches, a stash starter, which is one yard by 44, 45 inches, and a jelly roll, which is two and a half inches by 44, 45 inches. These are all made at the manufacturer, and they are great when you have to make a bunch of little cuts or little pieces of fabric. We have their seasonal fabric set up. This is the Valentine section. Kind of cute, huh? Now here in this store, this is the notions department where you'll find your needles and pins and cutting boards and cutting rulers, uh, rotary cutters and things like that. Now, now over here you see threads, zippers and other little articles for sewing. This fabric is pretty thin and I don't know if you can see my hand through it. This is not the type of fabric that you want to use for quilting. Something for you to really look at. And I'm getting close so you can see that the threads have some space in it. This might be good for something that's uh, clothing wise, but for quilting, not really. So because this fabric is on sale, I'm going to get whatever is on the bolt. So the young lady is going to measure yardage. Yardage is what this is called, and a yard is 36 inches. And remember I said W-O-F, or width of fabric, means width of fabric, sorry. So here she is, it's one yard. She's using, using the ruler that's on the table. It's two yards probably a half. Let me show you over here. So now we're back in the car after purchasing our fabric. I ended up getting two yards and 21 inches of it. It was on sale. It's normally about seven bucks a yard and that's normally what I pay for fabric. Even though I should be um, shopping at my local quilt shop, right now being on a budget and not working, being retired, I have to watch my money. So I come to stores like this, um, where it's a craft fabric store or a fabric store or even one of those discount big box stores. Um, I've purchased fabric from all of them. They're all good quality quality to me you just have to be very careful what kind of fabric you picked and like I showed you the fabric not to pick is flimsy and see-through so I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial on going to the fabric store subscribe below like share with your friends check me out on Facebook and you'll see the uh, link below my name is Liz and we are out and about with 
EMO's creative studio. Happy quilting. Bye.